What's up guys, Sid here. I uh, got a bunch of mail to show you and some pickups. Um, a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff, so we'll just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, this mail has been collecting over over this over this week, I think. Um, yeah, all this week. Just been collecting it, saving it. So first up, we'll do the pickups. Got this yesterday. Let's see, uh, what's today's day? Today is the 14th, 14th of March. But picked this up at Walmart. Uh, I've been wanting this one for a while, and it just got released, I think, this past Tuesday. This is Wolf Cop. Very cool slipcover here. It's an embossed slipcover. Same image there on the DVD on the inside. But awesome. If you've not seen the previews to this movie, uh, go watch the trailer on YouTube. Great, great stuff. Can't wait to give it a watch. Very, very cool. Ten bucks at Walmart. Can't beat it. So there is that. And what is this? Thrift store stuff. Thrift stores haven't provided much lately. I think uh, donations have been down, but I was able to find a few things. I spent less than three dollars here. Um, some cool tapes. Somebody dropped off a few uh, metal tapes. This is a uh, Venom, black metal. And this one is actually an import from Italy. So very, very cool. It's an original release from 1982 from Italy. It's about $15 and $20 tape. This was, uh, all the tapes were a quarter. So super score on that. And then we have... This guy, I thought this was really weird. He's called Guy Man Dude. So, yeah, interesting guy. Uh, this is one of, he only came out with two or three albums, I think. Uh, this one's pretty cool. The first song here, On the Verge, has uh, lyrics by Alice Cooper. But he plays guitar and drums. So, interesting tape there. Then we have Tank, Honor and Blood. Very cool cover. Uh, this is also an import. And this is on Road Racer Records, uh, which is, a, a, I guess, a, a foreign distributor of Roadrunner Records. Not entirely sure of the deal on that, but like I said, very cool cover. Never heard of them either, so it'll be fun to give them a listen. And last for the tapes, we have Striper, the Yellow and Black Attack on Enigma Records. Very awesome. And then we got this book. This is from Whitman Publishing. This is uh, the story of Walt Disney's motion picture, Mary Poppins. Really nice uh, photo cover there. It's from 1964, Whitman Books. And this one's really cool because it actually has some color um, art on the inside normally the art's not color it's just you know like that black and white basically but it has some color pictures on the inside which is really cool so pretty neat interesting collection of stuff we got heavy metal tapes and a Mary Poppins book all right, so now on to the mail. Some of this is going to be opened already, uh, like this one here. This is a Facebook purchase. Um, the reason why I opened this was because this took forever. Um, it took over two weeks to get it after I paid, which really pissed me off, but it's whatever. So I opened it up because <clears throat> this was all I had to show, and I wanted to wait until I had more stuff to make a video. So I went ahead and opened it up and watched these two movies because i had been wanting to watch these for a long time. So anyway, a couple DVDs. Really great stuff. Uh, this first one here is Almost Human. Uh, this is a alien abduction slasher film. Really, really awesome. Uh, if, if you don't know anything about this, again, watch the trailer on YouTube. Pretty good stuff here. A uh, nice independent film made in Rhode Island. I don't hear that too often. Not particularly over-the-top bloody, as it says. 
pretty because it says a gory throwback, but it's really not over the top bloody. I could have used some more blood, but still a great movie. Check it out. And then we have Bigfoot Wars. This was really good, uh, starring C. Thomas Howell and Judd Nelson. Um, again, very, very low budget, but still pretty cool. Special effects aren't too bad. There is one scene where a Bigfoot monster slashes this guy's throat, and you can see it's obviously wearing a, an appliance. But So that was kind of funny. But other than that, still pretty good film if you can find it for a few bucks. I would suggest checking it out. Based on the books by Eric S. Brown. So pretty cool. All right. Next up, we'll just do t today's mail. This is a uh, this is another comic book for cancer um, that I'm going to be doing the art on. I'll just show you the cover here real quick. Uh, this one's going to be a Transformers versus GI Joe cover. So, pretty cool. I'm excited to, to work on that. I need to do a video showing off uh, the other covers I've done and some other artwork I've done. And I need to do that, so hopefully soon I'll be doing that video. Alright, next up, this package here. This is going to be uh, another Facebook purchase. This is a pretty cool book. This is uh, Horror Movies by Daniel Cohen. Really, really nice condition. And the main reason I picked this up was because I remember checking this book out uh, at the library when I was a kid. They, had, they have a special library edition of this book. And it just brings back memories. This is from 1984. This is the first printing. Um, just a really cool book on uh, the old vintage horror films you know you start with your Frankenstein and your Wolfman Dracula and then we slowly start getting into uh, the 70s stuff with uh, Carrie and the Howling the Shining and it has little biographies of the uh, actors it's just a cool book uh, I've read a lot of Daniel Cohen's books he's written a lot of books on the subject of uh, horror and sci-fi this is just a really cool book like I said it brings back memories of me as a kid when I used to walk down to the library and check out books so super cool really nice condition really happy about that all right, next up, let's see which one I want to do. We'll do this one. Uh, again, Facebook purchase. Hope everybody out there is doing well. why the magazines are not in these bags but whatever okay so we have some famous monsters of filmland magazines um, these are in poor shape I'm gonna have to do some SID restoration on these which just basically involves a lot of masking tape well not masking tape but packing tape because the covers are not attached to the book so but that's all right I got these for fifteen dollars shipped uh, this one's from 1970 I got them for fifteen dollars shipped and I just wanted some famous monsters magazines because I haven't looked at any in a while and they're getting to be outrageous in price so when the opportunity to get these came up I jumped on it just great stuff I uh, love Famous Monsters magazines. 
There's Planet of the Apes articles there. What's up, Shannon? We got Dracula. Just very cool stuff. Cannot wait to look at these. Sit down and read them. Fantastic. This one's probably in the best shape of all of them. Uh, then we have number 90. With Scream and Scream Again, starring Vincent Price. Just awesome. Tiny Tim. Tor Johnson. Great, great stuff. Let's see the date on this one. Uh, that sucks. Looks like we might be missing a page or something. I don't know. Yeah, we're missing a page. He didn't tell me I was... These were missing... This one was missing a page. Well, that sucks. And then we got uh, issue 120. Super Summer Issue with the Creature from the Black Lagoon there on the cover. Very cool. What was that? MonsterCon? Probably can't find it again now. MonsterCon Masquerade Winners. That would be a cool article to read. There's Ernest Borgnine. Devil's Reign, I think that's from. Yep. Very, very cool. From 1975. The Return of Regan. Awesome. So I'll re repair these and get them fixed up. Some great stuff. And last but not least, my last Facebook purchase. Got it, guys. Okay. All right, a bunch of great stuff here. We have some vintage Fangoria magazines. This one is uh, Fangoria number 68 with the Lost Boys poster from 1987. Very, very cool. The Hidden. Remember that movie? That was a great, great film. Nice Friday the 13th article. Fantico Enterprises. We bought a lot of stuff from them. Awesome. Then we have, well, whatever issue this one is, number 83 from June 1989 with the Phantasm 2 poster. Great, great stuff. Really love the older Fangoria magazines. Nice Roger Corman article, Puppet Master. More Friday the 13th goodness. And here we go into Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is part three. Halloween 4 movie poster. This is issue 89 from 1989. 
Here's the hills have eyes inside the MPAA Monsters TV show. Farewell to Halloween. Edgar Allan Poe. Outstanding stuff. And last but not least, check this out. This is Stephen King's Creep Show with art by Bernie Wrightson. This is the comic book adaption of the film. This is a rare book. I got this at a great price. I used to have this. I think I had a couple of different, a couple of copies of this over the years. Uh, but I've since sold them. But this actually is quite a bit valuable. Fantastic art by Bernie Wrightson from 1982. This is a fifth printing. Just beautiful, beautiful book. Super glad to have this back in my collection. Fantastic stuff. There's Stephen King on the cover. Just awesome. But that's it, guys. I <clears throat> hope you enjoyed everything. Uh, and I will talk to you all later. See you.